Thanks for tuning in, checking out this video. We got a unit in Bearcat 980. A couple mods done to this one. This is Dave's radio. Got the RFX kit installed back here. And that, um, when I do these kits, guys, <clears throat> I include a tune alignment with the install. So that's a package deal. And I do sell these uh, already ready to go on the site when I get, uh, as I get them made up and done. So uh, this will kind of be a reference video as well for that. You can do Echo, which he opted to do right there, TRBX4 board we went with, and uh, that's that's it. So let's just check this thing out on the meters. This isn't going to be a long video or nothing like that, <clears throat> but I just wanted to uh, get this out there. So let's see what we got going on for a carrier. We're at 14.4 because that uh, voltmeter is off by two tenths until I get around to adjusting it. So here we go. Yeah, like right at 20 watt carrier, uh, about 18, 19, 20 watts. So right now I got mic gain. If you, uh, I got mic gain up all the way, four, okay. And here's what we're doing for peak. So let me get this uh, switched out here. Put the 250 in. Show peak. Peak's enabled. Audio one two three four five 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 yeah just under hundred right about a hundred there one two three four five holding at a hundred on the bird audio one two three four five okay about ninety on the LP so that is with the mic gain all the way up and that's with using the uh, stock mic now that other mic you have the power mic you're gonna have to turn your mic gain down uh, about three in on the radio and then you're gonna have to obviously keep your mic gain down on the uh, actual mic itself as well is what I'm finding out with those uh, mics when I because uh, a lot of guys have the McKinley radios and they use that same mic it's a that capo mic and um, that's that's basically how you how you run those is you turn the mic gain down on the radio and the mic gain down on the actual mic so check it one more time here audio check 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 Looking good on peak. And uh, let's go up to the monitor. We'll check it out, see what it's doing. Or, uh, I'm sorry, see what it sounds like. This is with, uh, let's see, yeah, no echo right now. Audio, audio check. Break, break. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's kick some echo into it. Audio, one, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit more. Audio check. Break, break. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, right. Of course, you hear that, that hum in the background from the power supply and the lights and everything else. So, um, the monitor radio picks up all that. So that is that for transmit. Uh, let's get it on the spectrum analyzer. We'll just make sure I'll... Uh, We'll make sure everything looks good there, which I already know it does, but I'll just show you guys. All right, Spectrum Analyzer going direct right here. Five megahertz span. Okay, go to 15. Clear. 30. Hello, radio, hello, radio. All good. 60, show the second. Perfect. All right. Okay, here's uh, really where these things shine is in the receiver department. And we're at negative 114 on this AM, 30% modulation. Right here, 12 dB. Okay, that's even better than the McKinley's. So, really, really great. Let you hear it. It's obviously going to hear much farther down than that, even. This is again, we're only at 30%. Here's 130. I don't have a uh, noise blanker or anything on right now. I mean, that's a heck of a signal still coming through. Let's take it all the way down to 137. We'll leave it at that 30%. Okay, now let's take it up to 100%. 100%. 
100 percent 137 yeah you could definitely hear it in there wow really really nice little receiver on sideband and 120 on sideband at 12 db right there so not as good as uh some of the other radios on sideband but really great on am but uh 120 is is gonna be fine i mean that's there's definitely nothing wrong with that you're you're still gonna hear every i mean you you've had the radio you know there's it's a good receive but um yeah it is a little bit lower than some of the others it's good strong signal in there um you will hear it much lower but that's just where 12 is coming in at there's 137 and we still hear it in there and that's only 30 percent so Definitely a good, good receiver. That's it for this one, guys. Appreciate you sending this in, Dave, and let me do it up for you. Hope you enjoy it. Good little powerhouse rig, compact package, and uh, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, there's not a lot of newer sideband radios out there, guys, to choose from, but uh, this one this one seems to, to do the job. Definitely uh, nice uh, stability on sideband, good receive, good transmit, so... Uh, I don't really see anything wrong with these. All right, see you guys in the next one. Radio Garage, we're off the key.